Hello. Hi. I'm Alicia. Marissa. This is Bookends Knits episode three. Yeah. I feel like a baller like that. I'm a thug. Anyway, um, so yeah, so it's third one. Yeah, it's been like it's been a while. Two weeks. The while. It's been a while since our last episode, um, which is a little blurry. Yeah, <coughs> it was so we were trying a new camera, which was on my laptop, and it's a Chromebook, so it's really not meant for, like, big in-depth things, like colors, or motion, clear, or clear pictures, or sound. But anyway, sorry folks. That's okay, we're back on the phone, living our life. So it's ugly. By the way, thank you for everybody who is coming back to us again. Yeah. We like upped our view like I attribute all of our views to or at least some of them to um, the wonderful shout outs we got uh, in the last two weeks from the ones that I saw were uh, Julie from Julie uh, sorry from uh, Sweet, Sweet Sparrow Barry podcast. Yes. Sweet Sparrow podcast. Thank you so much for your wonderful shout out. Um, and then home time knitting and reading. Yeah. Oh. I, oh, oh I, I'm My not, Lord. I know, <laughs> it's like <laughs> words are hard, um, but thank you so much for those, thank you for any of our returning viewers, yeah, and all you Which, wonderful people who subscribed, yeah, and liked, and <sighs> you blew up my email, <laughs> it's just all like, I was just like, I try and reply to every single one of you, if I didn't get you, I'm sorry, and she's in charge of YouTube, I'm in charge of the YouTube, and sometimes the Instagram, if I could get into it. It's a tricky situation because there's both of us. Yeah, because both, two, of, our yeah, both of our accounts. Yeah, both of our accounts. one in at a time. Yeah, it's funky. So, so we're going to have to de delineate that a little bit more. But, I think I'll take um, you. Okay, I'll take you too. But anyway, thank you so much for all your wonderful comments. And um, for, for liking and subscribing and for coming, coming back. back. And then for anyone who's, uh, this is your first time joining us, welcome. We like to introduce it as a podcast for yarn, books, and general nerdery. Oh, yeah, we do. But look, we got new glasses. Super nerds. Yeah. It's sad to go big or go home. I feel like Clark Kent. Mine were sunglasses. Oh. Well, I have, my other ones were sunglasses. I thought these were. No, no, it's the other ones. Oh, uh, the round ones? Yeah. Oh, okay. These were sunglasses, and I was just like, hey. And they were like, we can pop that lens out. I was like, let's pop that lens out. <laughs> <laughs> They do that anyway. I know, anyway. but... But, yeah. But, anyway. So, so, I have been gone trekking across the U.S. Well, a portion of the U.S. We hung the East out. Coast. The East Coast. I call it your Great East Coast Tour. <laughs> yeah. Literally, that's how I described it to everybody. Where's Alicia? The Great East Coast Tour. This is You Ugo. might meet Ugo. <laughs> our co-host. This is our secret co-host. Oh, but no. He's gone back down. Sorry about that. Crumbly. He's my little... I don't know if we've talked about him. We haven't, and I don't know if you've met him. He's my... Uh, Italian. I can't remember. He's my Italian... Italian Greyhound. <laughs> He's been staying at a wonderful friend for the last two weeks. Yeah, and this is our first weekend back together. Auntie does not watch Ugo. Yeah. No, she can't watch Ugo, apparently. No. I offered money. No. Like, the, my firstborn, things like that. That is but your she, firstborn. This I is don't my want first. It. This is my baby. She wouldn't take him. No. Awful sister. Sorry. But anyway, so a friend from college watched him, and I'm eternally grateful, and I brought her all High kinds of High school and college. I know. We've been together a long time. I know. We were roommates in college. Yeah, we were. I Easy think if Yasmin had gone to the same college, we all would have been Oh, roommates. man, we would have been a wreck. <laughs> we would have been like, hurry, it's study. Oh, yeah, I know. And then we would have slept in libraries. We did that anyway. Yeah, college is hard. Anyway. Toothbrush. But now we're out. We're all still great friends, and we're hanging out more. So, we're so happy. Yeah. But anyway, let's get on to the knitting. Let's get the knitting And the going. books, and, and all the other things. <laughs> I'm mad at a book right now. Okay, you're not mad. I'm mad at the ending because they're... They tell you what the ending is. He they, was going to die. Thank you! <laughs> I would have loved to have, like, someone you, do that later on. Like, in the know. middle of the first one would have been fine. But no, like, that's the first sentence they start off with. And I'm just like... No, it's not. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. I have to From the time Blue could remember. <laughs> is that how it starts off? Uh, Am I right? Blue... <laughs> <laughs> Word. We'll talk about that 
talk about this later. <laughs> I told you. Don't you dare. <laughs> Memorization. It's the story. It's how they get there. I finished the series. Um, I have finished the first book last night with her in tow because she was like, I want to hear it again. So good. Oh, and the narr- we're listening to it on Audible and the narrator, Will Patton. He's good. Oh my god. He has a different voice for every single one of them. And it's there's like so... a lot of a chick characters and he's just like, blue. That's, <laughs> <laughs> That's what's supposed so to be. They're all blue. southern. They're all so southern except for like Roman. Cool. Roman's Roman. not too southern. He's just like, <laughs> I love Ronan. I'm holding my sock block. <laughs> okay, we'll and talk about it later. Don't ruin anything for these people. We should have a, re- a listen along or slash read along for that series. No, let's do that in January. Let's make it happen, guys. Raven, Julie, Cycle. we still need to talk about. Yeah, it. Julie, we need to talk. By the way, Julie, I love you. Don't tell me that you can <laughs> purge. Just let me live in a lie, Julie. <laughs> suspension of belief, girl. Oh, yeah. Let me live in that beautiful life. I love you. And girl, lie to me, please. I got some beautiful hair. I just love all of it. I don't, I don't care that it's... I don't care that it's not... It's... I don't care. You're beautiful. I still You're love beautiful you. You're beautiful anyway. <laughs> you are beautiful. You don't need you'd, that. You'd be beautiful with your stick straight hair, but... It's, I understand your struggle. I know. I used to We had the reverse it. struggle. Too much body. Too much. Too much. I had a main in college. Yeah, you do. I sh- I like no one believed me at work, and they were, I was just like, let me show you. They were just like, Marissa, you look so sweet. You did. So this big mass of curls, and I smiled. You did. Somewhere along the line in college, I got real jaded, and I'd do a half smile. They're like, mm. they're like, Marissa, smile for the camera. This is. Mm. Oh, unless you're like, unless you catch me in like a moment of like, which is not. Like, Make me laugh. <laughs> really? Cool. I think I'm funny, so I can do it myself. <laughs> anyway, uh, no one is more jaded than I am, but I smile through that pain. Can it be okay? It's not your fault. <laughs> no. That's actually very effective. We'll talk about that another time. Later yeah. in the school year, you're un- you'll understand. Um, oh, you're both- <laughs> School's coming back. I had it for my first back to school dream last night. <laughs> just thrashed me. <laughs> so, no, it was awful. No, I dreamt that. I, it was the first day you of school. You made noise. I did. You're like, no. Oh, okay. No, but it was like the first. My dream was like it was the first day of school, and no one knew what they were teaching, and none of our rooms were ready, and like we're all like, what are we gonna teach? And me and my friend were sitting in front of our rooms like, what are we going to teach? This sounds like, how do I teach these kids? And like, the kids are coming and they're in our rooms like, our rooms aren't decorated. Oh, it was a nightmare. Do you text Nickel? No, I need to tell her. I need to text. I need to be tell like her and Ebony and be all like, I ready. had a dream. Because <laughs> we've been talking about, we're like, because like, Nickel just saw like all the back to school supplies. She sent pictures. She, she like, sent me no. a, She sent me a picture and she's all like, fudge. And I was like, oh, it's coming. She's like, it is. And I was like, start playing Eye the Tiger. I play that every morning when I ride, when I ride into that's work. What I'm I just play, like, that's what I play when I start getting ready for school to start. Especially when, when I'm decorating my room. Like that first day I back remember in that. our rooms. I'm just all like. <laughs> and then I channel Jensen Ackles. Season 12, they're filming. Is this the last one? I don't know. I'm hoping not. Shannon says it might be. Okay. Let's let's talk about the yarn. Let's get to the yarn. But guys, if you know any really good supernatural colorways, hit us. Please. (laughs) I am a fan. And if anyone's interested in doing a Raven Boy collection... Please talk to us. Please talk to me. I want to be in on that. Like, if it's a club. Julie. Julie. Anyway, let's talk about the yarn that we did, we've, we've done this week. The yarn we've done? The yarning. The, the yarning we've done the this yarning. week. Alright, so you want to do uh, finished objects? Foes. The bow for, for show. What you got, girl? Hmm? <laughs> a mess. <laughs> We just had it. I'm still recovering. Go, you want to show? You wanna, no, go. You, you, they've okay. already seen it. 
Mine's not that impressive. This isn't that impressive. This is. I would have had two foes. <laughs> what are you, Pocahontas? No, this is me being Mufasa. <laughs> pretty, he wasn't that sassy. He's majestic. This is pure joy, this is by pure the way. <laughs> by Hohi Locatelli in Julie of Sweet Spare Yarn. Yarn. And this is in her gosling base. This peach collar right here. With the nice little like with the flexible flexi flexi Let me take it off so I can show you. I was about to say like they can't they can't with tell. These little flecks of I tried to show you last week, but like our camera. Oh the flecks of green and the peaches and the oh man, that's garden rose. It's beautiful. beautiful. This is from the city of garden. And then this color right here, it looks gray, but look closely. It's like purple and green and blue. Oh, it's showing up so well. Uh, it's like a variegated, like warm, and cool. It's, it's, it's so good. It's so oh, I want a sweater out of this. The more. It's a, the more. Yeah, this is the more. I want and a this sweater. is their MC and base, the Gosling base. 400 yards. Hey, a skein. You're a ninja. <laughs> oh, I like this corner right here. Oh, this that's so a, nice. Good corner. Oh, I want that fair trade. No. <laughs> I'm not trading corners. <laughs> trade me corners. This is mine. I made it. Okay. Anyway, so it's done. It's done. It's I ran out of yarn. I ran out of the peach yarn. I ran out of the peach yarn. But you can't even tell. You can't even tell. This, it, the pattern is set up in a way where you, once you run out of yarn, you can pretty much just knit across to the end of the row, switch your color, and move on with your life. It's no, okay. your bad self. It's, it's okay. Because okay. like. Oh, he said, it's fine. It's fine. You're good. It's okay. It's okay. You will use more than 400 yards for this peach color, but that's okay. You don't have to if you don't want to. You you do you. You're going to meet Udo. Udo. Hi, honey. Come here. You want to come out? Yeah. Anyway. So. Come here. The Italian Greyhound is alive. This is my baby. You want to come out? You want to say hi? Udo, don't you show them your butt. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, okay. Okay. That's how it's gonna be. Sorry. Ugh, come say hi. Oh, don't be fussy. There. Jewels of um, so sweet Violet tried to film her. Her whip it, whip it puppy. puppy. It's a struggle, but this is Ugo. He's I really mean, tough. He just wants to lick your hands. It's weird. He's a, yeah, he's, he's part in, of the reasons I could not watch Ugo. He's in mummy, love me mode. Love me mode. Anyway, usually he's just under the blanket sleeping. But today he wanted to come out. We don't know why. But yeah, so this is my puppy. So Ugo, say hi. Say hi. This is Ugo. Which is just the Italian form of Hugo. So it's not a go. It's not juice. <laughs> it's not juice. <laughs> All my kids are like, you name your dog Juice, which would like, not be a bad name. It's a cute name. I would name I my dog like, Juice. Sure, you believe what you want to believe. Anyway, so I made that shawl. What'd you make? I put my heels on both of my socks. I'm just going to show you one, though. This is so boom, she finished, boom. you finished both of them. Finally. I did finish both of them, finally. The, these, this pair has been languishing for a while. Um, and then the grocery girl said, we're going to do a second sock of summer. And I was just like, saving grace. Okay. <laughs> they haven't been blocked you yet. you did it. And then I did it. I fin I actually finished them after our last podcast, um, like an hour after we posted it, and I was just like, it's okay, it's okay, it's all right. They're beautiful. Hedgehog fibers and their sock base, just a regular sock. Yeah. And then this is just some heritage. I do a sixty-eight stitch sock. Sorry. I'm a I'm a tight knitter, I guess. It's okay. You do you. But I hate two by two rib. It doesn't. I like it. It doesn't hold anything. I do it automatically. I don't know why. Cause I hate one by one more. I don't mind. <laughs> I'm not. I don't mind that part of life. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway. So that's your FO. Only one. It's okay. I would have had more, but I forgot my pattern. <laughs> yeah, you would have gotten those sleeves done, wouldn't you? I would have knocked them out last night. I would have stayed up till. God knows. I would have listened to the other book. Probably finished it last night, too. It's 12 hours. It's good, though. The second book's even better than the first book. Which is usually the case. Yeah. Because, like, now you know the characters. Yeah. That first book, though, I was just like, I'm going to kill that man. 
Don't touch my boy. Well, both of them? What do you mean both of them? Well, because you got... Never mind. Anyway. Fix for later on. <clears throat> but anyway, so That's we're what? going to show our whips and props. I'm going to show you two. I only okay? have two big ones. Two. Two big ones. Two. Marissa, for some reason, while I was gone, I cast got on everything. Lonely, and she told you guys that she wasn't gonna cast on anything else. She's a liar. I'm a dirty liar. You're a liar. A bad girl. She called me. She's like, I did a bad thing, and I was all like, Well, you told me when I was in Canada, didn't you? Yeah. That was was that last weekend? I don't know. Well, it's like the first weekend she was gone, I was like, all of my good stuff is at Alicia's house, and I don't want to drive all the way up there. She's just lazy. So she bought my yarn and started like eight projects. I started two. Whatever. Anyway, we're only going to show two of our whips. I only have two. Three. The ones that have been blowing up my Instagram are the ones that are going to be shown. shown. Okay, so you show yours first. Mine are small. Mine are small. Yours are giant. Watch me whip. Yes. <laughs> this is very impressive though. I think so too. If nothing else, you can make this like a vest. For some reason, I like vests. You just don't like sleeves. I hate sleeves. <laughs> There's two of them. <laughs> this is my Hamlin Peak cardigan. It looks real short. My swatch bloomed. But you've knit it to spec. I've knit it to a little bit past spec. I knit it to 13 inches. Oh, okay. Then you should be fine. I should be fine. Um, so I need to put on sleeves, but I forgot my pattern. Otherwise, that would have been done. I would have had two foes. It's a fun pattern. You like it? I, is it well written? It is. Um, the errors on here are not for the size I was making. It's for the smallest size. Okay. So I followed the spec. It took me a minute and it, because like I had tried to do this cardigan before and I just totally messed with my own brain. And made, made it, it more complicated. Than I made it more complicated was. than it actually was. That's what I find with top-down things. They're the simplest things to do, but like you're like, no, that's not right. I know. It's too easy. It doesn't feel right, and then it is. Maybe that's what your problem is with the other one that you're trying to make the red one. I don't know. I didn't alternate skeins. Guys, this is really consistent. Yeah. It's. I didn't alternate skeins or anything like that. It's so consistent. It's variegated anyway. It is variegated anyway. So but there's no pulling. There's no pulling. It's so beautiful. I feel like I'm going to have more of... Anyway, this is... <laughs> Quince and about, Co's Phoebe. Yeah, I was like, let's talk about the yarn. This is Quince and Co Phoebe. So it's their DK weight yarn that they just pretty much released. Um, it's beautiful. I love it. For the price and the yardage, this is my go-to sweater knitting. Right. Go-to sweater yarn. I... This is the uh, mercury colorway, so it's like a blue gray. That's so pretty. It is really pretty. I feel like I'm gonna wear it with like a lot of white oversized like button downs. So that'll be pretty. Right. You can also wear it with navy and gray. Yeah, no, I'm not worried about color combinations. Well, you can I, wear it with like a like a like a beige or a taupe. Yeah, it's really pretty. So I'm in love with this. Um, yeah. Walk that thing with an inch of its left. Yeah, I yeah. am. That's what I do. Alright, what's your other one? My other one I'm so proud of, guys. <laughs> oh. I haven't done cable since I was on a time. A youngin'. And the last cable project I did was the Shadir. You could do this for that uh, class on the Harry, on the House Cup for the magical literature. It's Lord of the Rings. I don't know if I'll have it done. That cable. Well, this will probably. Anyway, this is the Susu. The other card again was Hamlet Peak. Sorry. This is the Susu by Nora um, Gone. Gone. And I saw. I had been binge watching. Little Bobbin. Little Bobbin. And she had one. And I was like, I must knit one. Now. I love that cable. This cable is beautiful. It's a twisted stitch cable. It's so pretty. It's beautiful. It looks so. It just pops. Yeah. It's just so good. And again, this is Quince and Co's Phoebe, and this is in their Neptune. So and it's a very see. tonal blue. It it films much better. It's very true to color right here. Well, maybe it's a little less vibrant. In real life. In real life. But it's so pretty. It is, and it's all and like the stitch moss. definition. Like the stitch definition is real life. <sighs> it's beautiful. That's really pretty. 
Don't you, you want one? And I do. I want one I in want, Mars. I want one in Mars and that Earth color one. Oh, yes. Be so we should knit those together. Yeah. Don't worry, guys. We're going to have listen-along soon. And we'll, we're still deciding on the book. Julie, we need to we need get on, to get on this. Anyway, so those are my whips. I have two socks on the nails that I'm almost done with, but that's beside the point. I got whips. I believe in you and your whips. Okay, so this is my this is my vacation knitting, which I barely touched, but I got a good portion done. You're not a good drive knitting person, are you? Oh no, I can drive and knit. It's not a problem. Not drive and knit. <laughs> not at the same time, no. I passenger will, knit. I can passenger knit like nobody, but um, it's just like. Were you just still hung over from the other one that you couldn't bring with you? Well, I really wanted that one. And then I was listening to my book as I was doing it. And so I tried to do it when I was only listening, when I was listening to my book. And then, like, that didn't happen. And then there were times where I was just, like, listening to my book. Because it was a very, it's a very involved book. I love it. <sighs> anyway, but this is another pure joy. It's so pretty, though. Right? This is in different colors altogether. Like... Like we have, this is uh, Mano Stel Uruguay's Fino, which is a fingering weight. And I have this uh, ivory letter opener and then my contrasting color, which you can barely see. It's like the softest pink. Like the softest, prettiest pink. It's, um, oh, dang it. It's uh, rose water. So pretty. And I size down the needle because I want to kind of have a closer, like a tighter fabric. He's coming. No, he's not. No, I think he might go to your one. Okay. And so it's a size five instead of a six. Yeah. And we need to scoop. Puppy interrupt us. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. No, he just wants to lick my hands. Okay, we'll lay down in a minute. Oh, move the camera first. Like, anyway, so that's one of them. My other one I started before I left for vacation, and then I just finished the other side of it the other day. Come on. Should we pause until he settles? No, 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 no. We'll never go back if we pause. Come here. Figure it out. Figure it out. He's stretching. <laughs> this is doggy butt. Okay. He's still. He is. He's getting it. He's going to figure it out. He doesn't know what he quite wants yet. Guys. No. He just wants to lick feet and be He's just happy. over a year old. Yeah. He doesn't know what to do yet. He's not quite figured out his life. Very hard there for puppy. There oh, we go. There you go. Good luck. Anyway, so this is the flum, flam, flum. I don't want you to call it flum. I don't know what it is. Because it sounds like flum. It's. It's from the Aramisu. It's this. It's that right there. See? Nanny. And I'm doing it in the exact same yarn, uh, Quince and Co's Owl in the elf colorway. Because you had enough in your stash. Because I had enough in my stash, and I was like, we have no chill for Quince and Co. I love Quince and Co. It's so economical. It's so economical, and it's like this. It feels like the owl feels kind of coarse in the skein, and then you knit it, and it's all like, oh yeah, I get it now. I get it. It's down in my head. I believe in you and all your dreams, sister. Yeah, it's just like the construction of this is freaking me out just a little bit. Oh, thank you, thank you. Because this is the collar, right? That's the collar. I feel like it's not long enough, but I feel like you're going to You're going to knit up. down. Yeah. Okay. You're going to knit more, so it's okay. My guess is you're going to join it and knit it down. Yeah. So now I have to pick up the stitches for the back yoke. It's going to be real cozy. Oh, yeah. I'm going to knit this back, and then if I really like it, I'm going to make another one and make it longer. And I just have a big, massive... Thing with buttons, I think. But yeah, so that's what I've been doing. So, shawls and sweaters. That's my usual, that's my MO. It really is. I really need a lot of I'm stuff. usually a sock nerd, but for some reason I've been possessed recently for sweaters. That's okay. Winter is coming. Winter is coming. It might not be cold, but winter is coming. It'll be chilly. It might. It was fairly warm this winter, this past winter. Anyway, so. That is our whips. Our whips. 
And now we're going to do our wallet burn. We're going to do kind of a smaller wallet burn. burn. And we're not buying any more yarn. We've promised ourselves. We also that. joined a couple of clubs. We did. So we'll be showing you those in the next coming weeks when they start pouring in. Yeah. Quite literally, mine will be pouring in. Yeah, you did join a lot of clubs while I was gone. This is what happens when she gets bored. True. I didn't join any. That's a lot. You joined one for me. Yeah. Because yeah. it's Halloween. It's Halloween. It's coming. We love Halloween. This is Halloween. We should watch that today. No. Not even Christmas. It's not Christmas or Halloween yet. We can't watch it. We watched Goosebumps and A Nightmare Before Christmas around Halloween. And now we'll have books to read during Halloween, too. What books? Well, you could read this. Oh, yeah. Oh, we can get the DVDs. I've actually and... owned this book for forever. I read it in high school and I don't remember a word of it because I think I was half asleep in high school. It is beautiful. It is amazing. I'm going to talk about it in my reviews. But anyway, but yes, so, aqua, wallet burn. Go. Wallet burn. Oh, go, yes. Go. Do you go first or do you go first? Um, Remember, we're just showing. Yep. So what I bought while she was gone and what was delivered to me while she was gone. Lola did it. Lola did it. Lola did it. Because the grocery girls were raving and I was like, I must see what this is about. Can you understand now? I trusted them in it to begin with, but I you need have to see it for yourself. I need to see it and hold it and love it myself. And it's now you do. Beautiful. This is Coal Miner's daughter. It's beautiful. I want a whole sweater out of it. This is Hello Gorgeous. And you don't like pink. I don't like pink, but this was speaking to me so loudly. Oh, you and you're gonna do the This is gonna be my pure joy. What, what color combination? Because I'll do the reverse. It'll be my. I was thinking dark and the uh, main color. Main color contrast. And I'll do the opposite. Yeah. We can have them. Yes. Okay. Coordinating. Coordinating. But anyway, Mine are gonna be this is her everyday sock base. It is so soft. I'm excited for this knit. I can't cast on until everything's cast off. <laughs> this is my reward. Your reward, maybe. Unless it's going to be like marathon knitting, like my blanket. What blanket? My I pinwheel. Little blanket. I bought that too. We'll show, we'll show that another time. Yeah, that's another time. I haven't been Instagramming it too much. Anyway, so these are two of mine. Do you want to show yours? Like one, one. Anyway. I'm not going to show the ecological okay. roots with you both Everyone. seen stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm just going to show my... Big purchase. My two big purchases. Because the other ones are just like little sock yarns. So. so, I got these two. I went to uh, Knitwit in Portland, Maine. And I was there hours after Julie was there. Julie Rose sews and Sweet Sparrow yarns. I sent her a text. She said, remember she sent me a text. She's like, <laughs> hey, Julie was just there. And I was like, no, she wasn't. She's like, oh, she was there like seven hours ago. And I was like, I just missed her. Because you texted me like three hours later. I did. We're, We're back. back. <laughs> we took a short break to walk puppies. puppies. Anyway, <laughs> back to where I think we left off. Um, so this is Finch. I went to Knitwit in Portland, Maine. And I told you so I think I missed Julie by like hours. hours. Too bad you guys are faced. Because you also drove. drove. <laughs> we drove through <laughs> Maine. And New Jersey. And New Jersey. No, we drove through New York. New York, okay. Well, they're right next to each other. Yeah. But anyway, so I went there and I bought a sweater's worth of. You can't even really see. Here, it. let me see if I can Finch. get it. There and that's the Sabine colorway, and I love that name. And I love this color, and I'm really excited about a sweater in this. <laughs> I think it'll be so pretty. Ugh. So yeah, and it's Quince and Co. Because Knitwit, I think, is the flagship and they have all the colors and all the yarns. It's lovely. It's I've never beautiful. Been. It's like wall. It's like walls. I just want to lay in. And then they have beautiful other yarn as well. And they have wonderful like leather um, measuring tape bracelets I got you one. Yeah. And they have beautiful very... mugs that Julie has. Julie has a knit main mug and I wanted it and I was going to get it and I was like no it's going to be breakable and I had to drive all the way back to Texas. So I didn't get one. 
We could have been twinsies time. with her. We could have been twinsies. Anyway, but yeah, so that's that's why my that was, that was my one of my big purchases. My other big purchase was when I was in Vermont, and we went to a wonderful yarn shop called White River Yarns, and I got this. It's really pretty. It's really pretty. It's like really. It's like gray and white. Yeah, gray and cream spun together and this is a CVM and a Cormo blend and it's 250 yards per skein and it is from Muscle in Your Arm Farm. I love that name. Right. Muscle in Your Arm. And I oh. tried to look them up on Ravelry but I couldn't find them. So it's like an independent thing and they've spun this and it's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. So I have six skeins of it. I'd make a wrap. <gasps> Ooh. What? That one Brooklyn tweed pattern you have? Quill? Yeah. I might have enough for that. That'd be pretty. That would be so good. Or I might make a crop sweater. I don't know yet. I think a wrap. Because it's a single? Yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. Dank Faye. Yeah. Anyway. But yeah. So I have six of these. And they're beautiful. Them, and they're beautiful. And I think it's a fingering weight. There's not a lot of information. But I feel like it's a fingering weight. It's like a fingering it's a thick sport. Fin. Yeah. It's like a sport fingering weight. And it's beautiful. And apparently... I was talking to the lady uh, who owns the store, and she's like, yeah, it blooms. And I was like, oh. She's like, it's beautiful, though. Like, it, really, it gets really soft as you knit it. It's soft now. It's soft now. Cause soft to me. It's, part which is, it's like half Cormo. I want some Cormo, but I'm looking for like the right pattern. Yeah. Because Elsa Wool makes beautiful Cormo. Yeah. She's beautiful, beautiful. Oh, I can't say enough good things about that. It's lovely, and their customer service is really good. <laughs> Anyway, chronically good. It's chronic. <laughs> Your customer service she's, is chronic. She's. Oh my gosh, that would be great. I love her. Yes. Elsa Wolf. Check them out. It's amazing. Always. Anyway, so those are my two big purchases when I was on vacation. I have some other yarns, but they're like single skein, so not even. I'll show it to you another episode, I think. And this is from our wonderful Julie. Julie is such a good dyer, guys. Oh my god. Oh. This is Kissed by Fire and her Gosling base. So it's an NCN. Same oh. as this. Dude, dude, dude. You should make this. Dude, dude, what? dude. Make this. Make this and that. But oh, I have or you can do party on your needles. That's an idea. Anyway, oh, it's beautiful. Like like soft gray cream darker kind of char orange and we're longhorn so burnt orange is kind of our jam we're bobcats dad's a longhorn dad's a longhorn we're in texas our main team is longhorn yeah but but we're, we're bobcats. bobcats texas state what up i'll give you hand signs but it won't mean anything for y'all no it doesn't our fight song is very peppy we stomp Anyway, look at them. They're beautiful. And then I also got Butterbeer. Butterbeer. Who doesn't need Butterbeer? And it's on her ren house ring base. So it's like tweedy nub nubs. I want to eat it. Right? I'm like, like, this looks like a loaf of bread that I just want to devour. Anyway, yes. It reminds me of the yellow and rainbow bread. There was yellow and rainbow bread. Yeah. <laughs> it always came out kind of like this color instead of like bright it? yellow. Yeah. I don't believe you. I just remember the purple and pink bits. You don't remember the green? No. Did we eat that? Did we eat toast with that? Yeah, we toasted it. Did you put butter on it? Yeah. I think we just had it on PB. No, I always, I toasted mine. I had mom toast it. I don't remember. I need to get some rainbow bread. I don't think they make it anymore. <sighs> if they make it, guys, let us know. Not fairy bread, rainbow bread. Fairy bread is delicious. That's brilliant. Huh. I don't know what you... Is it, it's cake. No! Well, there's different ways to do it. You can get... Okay, so you can basically... I only write a recipe where it's cake. Yeah, you can do it that way. I I'm made, a cake I, fan. You can, do a, you can do pound cake with sprinkles inside of it. That's, that's so That good. sounds pretty good. It's, I made that for you once. Yeah, you did. And then you can do... I wish do, we toasted it. Another way you can do it is you can get just plain white bread. 
and I think some like uh, you get like you could do butter. People do butter. Butter. And then you put sprinkles on that. I'm like bread. But I'm like butter. Scraped it for too much bread. I love that. I'm a hobbit. But I think if I had a choice, I'd be a dwarf. I'd be an elf. I'd be a dwarf. I'd be an elf. I feel like I'm so hardcore. <laughs> So hardcore. You guys. described me like that to your friends though at work. So at the Christmas party, they're all like, "That you're an elf." No, that I was a dwarf. Oh. My haircut. Oh yeah, I was like, she looks like Dwalin <laughs> from The Hobbit because he has that mohawk and then tattoos up the sides, and he's just such have, a baller. I don't have tattoos, but like my oh man. I was just like, she has like the Dwalin haircut. They're like, who's Dwalin? I was just, and Eric, the only guy who kn uh, knows, he's just like. I got you. I understand what she looks like. So I brought her and they were just like, yep. And also they, I had told her, I was like, she's not as nice as I am. I look mean. I look meaner than you. Yeah. Yeah. But you haven't seen me in my classroom. I have. <laughs> I'm have. HBIC. She is. And I'm just like, <laughs> that's it. Anyway, so that's all of our wallet burn this week, besides all the clubs we joined. Yeah. Alright, so let's just tell. We joined um, Cat's Kettle's Halloween, Halloween Club. Club. I'm really excited. You go. Bye bye. He's going to sleep, just stop rubbing his head. I feel like he's going to nose out and just dig Is in my shirt. You? No. What's he doing? What's the matter? What's the breeze? Oh, just warm. It's fine. Anyway, um, so yeah, we joined that. I also joined Cat's Sandwich Fi Cat's Sandwich Cat Fiber sandwich. Club. It's the Adventure Time Club. I'm a huge fan of Adventure Time, guys. I'm not the biggest fan, but I like it. Like I watch it when I can't handle anything else, and my books have just drained. Like you're hungover from your books, you know? You dig? You'll know. You know. Book hungover. I have book a bad I have a bad habit of like when I get hung over from one series, I read a book that apparently is just like it. Yeah. Well not just like it. I'll tell you in a I'll show you in a minute. We'll talk about it. Later. I'll show you in a minute. Um that's it. That's foes for show. Well, watch uh, me whip. Watch me whip. Wallet burn. We're doing good. We were doing real good. All right, so the next one, what's our next thing? Okay, so we have our Rex. We have our Rex. So we're going to do Podcaster's Corner. Yes, and you have that ready, right? I do. It's going to be a little bobbins this week. I thought we did that last week. No, we haven't done it yet. Oh, did you check? Okay, good. I love little bobbins. I've watched all those. <laughs> Except for the last one. <laughs> watch six. <laughs> you just sat there and watched all of them, didn't I did. You? I binged them. Days. Isn't she lovely? I love her. That's why I've started knitting my so so. I was just like, yes. Okay. She just gets it. I got your Christmas present. You got my Christmas present? Yeah. Is it lovely? Oh, yeah. Like, with the bobbins lovely? Did you get it from the bobbins? <laughs> she had the. I don't know. I'm not going to tell you anymore. It's going to be okay. I got you the small one because I didn't know like how much you would be like using it and it's are you okay? I, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you'd have this type of reaction. Do you want me to show you a picture later? Mm -mm. No, let it be surprised. Okay, it's not like her usual style but it's her and I was just like yes, you needed it. It was too perfect not to. I even showed mom. She was like, excellent. Are you okay? <laughs> it's anyway, cold. It's ice now. <laughs> anyway, she's so lovely. Um, and I binge watched her and I just thought she was magnificent. Except for the giant sock whip pile. <laughs> I was just like, daddy, come on, girl. <laughs> no, you can't get. I, every time she catches something new, I'm just like, Danny, we got to finish our socks. <laughs> We have socks. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, like the brute, like when she was talking about um, her dog that had passed, Brewski, I was just like, oh, 
But I had to stop that's for like, the a, like a couple of minutes just that to like is, That's like a hard because it just reminds you of Teddy, yeah? yeah? I can't even with Teddy yet. We had a beautiful great Pyrenees lab mix. He was he lived 13 years, died our freshman year of college. Ugh. And we Our parents wouldn't could let us come home. We couldn't weekend. be there, yeah. So it was hard. So, yeah. Feel you, girl. Dogs are hard. They're the worst. <sighs> so... You just get so attached. Yeah. Anyway, little bobbins. And, I was, and like actual bobbins. Actual little bobbins. I was just like, you're cute. Right? Like, it makes me want a long haired chihuahua. How's the shedding on that, Danny? Let us know. Because I would get one. Yeah. And yeah, it's okay if you hold your dog like a baby. It's your baby. I hold Ugo like that. Yeah. And he's, l- he's longer. <laughs> <laughs> he's all leg. Anyway. Oof. But beautiful. she's a beautiful knitter. Her mom is adorable. She looks like our mom. She, Danny, your mom looks like my mom. One day I'll put a picture in. Or maybe one day we'll have mom podcast oh, with us. Oh, that'd be fun. I mom is she, not a crafter. Mom is not. She comes from a craft family, though. She does. Her mom was like master seamstress lady. Yeah. Um, I can wear this again. And one of her sisters was like champion hook rugger. <laughs> slash cross. Cross, yeah. cross stitch, slash Little everything. Point. Like, we have some of her work and it's beautiful. It is. Oof. It sits up in my mama's kitchen. Oof. Gorgeous work. It's a Dutch woman. Because we're Dutch. We are. <laughs> <laughs> Promise. <laughs> anyway. Um, but yeah, so, come from a long line of crafty people. Moms, it skipped mom. It skips generations, but it skips Jesslyn, too. Jesslyn's artistic. Jesslyn's very artistic. She draws beautifully. And she's a... She's a fashion... She's, she, she's, she's a, a fa- merchandiser. She is. She has a great eye. Yeah, she's a very strong aesthetic. Yeah, that's the best way that's to put it. That's the best way to put it. She's a very strong, very good aesthetic. Yeah. <sighs> anyway. But yeah, so that's our podcaster's corner. Wonderful, beautiful Danny. Little Go watch that if you haven't yet. You can binge watch it. Where have you been if you haven't watched it? Right? She's like the quintessential. She's basically the thing that everyone sets their standards by, yeah? That, and I think Yarngasm is another one. Like, Yarngasm has 200 episodes. No. Over 200. Yeah. I was going to binge those next. But I was just like... We might start that when the school year starts. Yeah, when the that's going to be starts. an ongoing because there's a lot of those. There's a lot. There's a lot of podcasts out there. Another one that we watched, I watched, is uh, So Sweet Violet this week, and Jules is adorable. Oh, we can do that for the next one because I want to watch it. Shh, I and love we can her. Review that one. Yeah, next time. she only has two episodes. So good. Anyway. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> so like, as the school year like begins to, it, it's imminent. It's imminent. It's imminent arrival begins to press down on my summer. I'm beginning to like prepare myself mentally. It's awful. I gotta start. I have to buy my planner. Um, I mean papers for your planner? Yeah, I have papers for my planner. Anyway, um, and then Dyer's Corner. We're going to do Knox. Oh, yeah, we're going to do Knox Yarns, which is one of my favorite Dyer's at this point. She's very, I think she's very new, yeah? She. I think she's really new. I don't know how long she's been gonna. I don't know either, but she did a Harry Potter mini set. Where's my where's that sweet little card from her? It's okay. I pinned mine up on my little push pin Danielle, board. Danielle, yeah? Yep, Danielle. She's adorable. She's lovely. Um, no, but she did a Harry Potter set. And we, like, I'd ordered from her before. Um, the banana stand. The banana stand. Stop. And she, she sends, that. like, a sweet note. And um, yeah, look at, this is the Harry Potter mini skein set. Yeah, so this is a uh the Ford, Ford Ange- Angelia, Le- Grey, Grey Lady, Lady, Cheering Charm, Potions, Potions Master, Master, and then Dragon, Dragon Egg. Egg. And then she, mm-hmm. with every purchase, she basically sends you minis. And she's just of like, either like. Of like one of a oh, kind, or just like colorways. Yeah, they're beautiful. She just does beautiful work. And then like I love her labels. Her labels are so good. Look at them. Sorry, I'm blocking your face. It's okay. Look at them. They're on everything. 
Yeah, no. Perfect <sighs> is great. I'm putting um, them in my book. Put them in your book. You can do that. I'm put them in my book. You put them in your book. I have um, a book of labels. Um, of, of yarn labels. I think my favorite base of hers so far, just because I knit socks out of them and it's so sturdy, is her Mars base. And I think it's 400 something yards in it and it's a merino nylon base it's so good this one's yeah this is, these are all on the mars base yeah uh, these are on see. her earthquake yeah the mars base is 7525 yeah uh, merino these little babies are on a single ply i don't remember oh wait this is a vesta this is her vesta base it's 100 percent superwash merino it's one ply single ply so it's it's oh. such a good like minty color it really she's such a good she's dyer she's so good but anyway, like the banana stem, this is how it knits up. It knits up in like semi stripes, not quite striping that are stripes that are meeting. I bet if you do a wider one, like if you're making a cow, it'll probably go wider. Probably, but no, it's beautiful. It, this I is like banana stem. It looks like a banana. Out. It looks like a um, gosh, what is it? Banana split. Split. Yeah. Sunday. Ooh, banana Sunday. I just don't like bananas. I hate bananas. But this yarn is like beautiful. That yarn. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't like bananas. This yarn, guys, and it's so soft. And it look it's it feels hard wearing. It does. Like in the skein, so soft. You knit it up, it feels like it's gonna last you for years. Yeah, it's over there somewhere. Oh, it's somewhere. over there in my bag. Oh, the, can they get it out? No, it's no. fine. But anyway, yeah. these are also her labels. I want that. Oh, one. this is yours. Oh, <laughs> I found oh, so it right I need here. It for my thing. <laughs> I need, I need it. that for my book. She does that a lot. She just wants to take all your labels. I want five grams in your labels. <laughs> like, seriously, this is adorable. But yeah, go okay. check her out. She's on Etsy. She's on Etsy. Um, and you can also see her on Instagram, and she's lovely. She is lovely. Um, but yeah, Danielle, lovely. She said sweet notes. Um, she watched our podcast. <laughs> she watched our podcast, and I, and didn't, I, was, I, was I didn't like, know. I didn't know. <laughs> and so I got the note, and I was like... <gasps> So yeah, we we obviously derped hard on that. Just fangirled a little too much. Just real hard right there. Okay. I love her. I love her babes. I know, right? So you good. can get potions master as a full scan. I know I'm gonna get that soon. When I can buy yarn again. Yeah, when you're allowed to buy yarn again. I'm not allowed right now. I've got a lot of damage to my wallet. I've got a lot of damage to my House. I need to clean my house again. <laughs> anyway, so I that was. I cleaned it last week. It's a mess. I took was... everything. I put everything. I packed everything away because I didn't want the dust <laughs> to get it. <laughs> exactly. While well, she was gone for two weeks. Anyway, so that was our dire corner. And, and now we're on book podcast corner. And now we're on book recommendations. <sighs> what are you gonna Um, Do you want to hold it? Maggie Stiefvater, I'm mad at you, girl. you want to hold it? Why? Why you do this to me? Why you make me fall in love with all of them? <laughs> and then tell her. And then, I already knew Adam was... Not Adam, sorry. Noah. Danzy. Noah. Don't I told you about Noah. No, Noah. Yeah, you told me about Noah. But no, you told me in the first pages, Blue true love will die. Well, that was sudden. And we don't know each other yet, Maggie. I was like, I was just like, excuse me, ma'am. And then she makes you fall in love with them all. I know. I was just like, well, I just won't like him. He just wants to be somebody's freaking dad. He's such a dad. He just wants to be someone. He's, He's just, just like so he will, he, I mean, like you read it and you're like, he just wants to dad you so hard. Exactly. So hard. It makes me mad. Because I like, car. I'm just like. What? <laughs> Why are you like that? Why aren't you a jerk? It'd be easier, wouldn't It'd it? It'd be easier. But then there's the jerky guy, and I'm just like, I love you. Yeah. I feel like you're too angry to be what you think you are, but I love you. Oh, it's like he's Dean from Supernatural. Like, the bad the blue boy. Blue steel. Blue steel. <laughs> bad boy with a heart of gold. I kind of deal. The perfect soldier. Gonna rip you to shreds with his smile. Because it's sharp. Because it's sharp. You just so like, describe him as a sharp, smiling boy, and I'm just like, like, what do you mean? And then you bust into my like, I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. And then, like, Adam. I love him. I was like, why do you make my heart hurt more? 
Right? Why are you talking about sacrifice? And I'm just like, stop. You're 17. <laughs> and blue. 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 <laughs> <laughs> the narrator, I'm listening to it because I would finish this too quickly and have to wait. So when I listen to it, it's read at a pace. You can speed up the pace, but you don't want to. You want to I didn't know I could speed up the pace. Yeah, anyway, I won't show you that button though. Not very lean back. Thank you. Odd man. But did you like it? It's like liking a paper cut. Paper cut you? <laughs> What? Oh wait, <laughs> bad one. It's like a tattoo. You really want it, but it hurts. But then it heals, doesn't it? And you have this beautiful. Piece Let me of talk to you about Noah. Body. I already knew what was happening because I was just like, well, that's because you're very. I'm very astute. Well, that you're trained to look for that. Most kids. Like, I had another kid. I bet they're like, oh. I had a kid reading it with me. He's all like, I don't understand. And then, like, it happened. He's like, did you? And I was like, Dude, I was like, it says it here and here and here. I, was, I already knew. This is what I was saying. I was like, they were in the car. It's like the first couple times that Blue hangs out with the boys and whatever. And she's like, no, why are you always cool? I don't know. I know why. I like why you always cool. It's hot outside, Noah. It's spring there. It's summer. And they're all southern. I love that. It hurts me even worse that they're all Southern. I'm just like, oh, you my real boys. They're our home boys. <laughs> and not really, we're not from Virginia. We're not from Virginia, but we're Southern. Ish, kind of. We're south of the Mason-Dixon line. Does that mean we're Southern? I don't know. I need to look it up a little bit more. I don't know. I mean, you can't get more south than Texas. So I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it. Where's that? It was like, you're Western. <laughs> so are you. <laughs> <laughs> Who was it? No, it was a uh, music runner from um, the uh, Tome Time podcast. She was like, if there's you on there, my people. I feel the exact same way about Southern people. Right? Mo well, the friendly Southern people. There are some mean Southern people I've here. met them, and I'm just like, I'm going to kick you. I'm going to drop kick you to Jesus. Gosh. I can't. Anyway, this made me so mad. But you and then the end, I was just like, get it together, children. Don't go grave, Robin. Stop. <laughs> I was just like. <laughs> but it made sense. It did, but I'm just like, rest in peace, God. <laughs> they needed to. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. They have to. They have to go and do that. Anyway, they want all their friends. Bruce, so Marissa's book that she's recommending. Is I didn't say I was recommending. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no. I'm not recommending this till I'm finished with all of it. I'm just saying this is what I read. This is what I'm recommending. Cautiously. <laughs> <laughs> the final solution by uh, Michael Chabon. I love him. Cautiously recommending. Cautious. He's so cool. He is pretty cute back there. <laughs> I swear to God, he was in a Gap ad back in the day. I think he was. He looks so familiar to me. Right. We used to work there. Shh, don't tell them that. We're in Austin. <laughs> We're in Austin, Texas. 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 Anyway, um, yeah, it's good. It's like Sherlockian without Watson. Without the... Without so the, just... It's man. short, so it's, you don't have to commit. You don't have to commit. <laughs> and that's... This man is committed to his bees, and I'm just like, old age, I don't want to be committed to my bees when I get that old. I'm going to be committed to my books and my yarn. Anyway. That was my, that's my recommendation. It's a mystery story about a boy, his parrot, and the parrot speaks German, and you'll, that's all you're getting from me, because I was too mad about the other one. Be mad. We're gonna we're gonna listen to the second one today. We're gonna start it for her. I'm real mad. You're gonna like the second. Um, one. You're gonna like the second one. It's good. It's I, good. The other the villain in there. I was just like, don't touch my boys. You get very protective of them. I was like, I already know what's gonna happen to one of you. And then Adam comes out with him and is still sacrificing. I'm just like, I'm mad at you. <laughs> 
And then there's another one who's just like, bird. Bird. <laughs> and then there's no one I'm just like, cinnamon rolls. Go home. This is like, it's just a pack of cinnamon rolls. <laughs> the one you and buy. And the coffee. She cuts the sweetness. <laughs> I would have said Ronan the knife, but okay. No, Ronan's a cinnamon roll. Jack the knife. You remember that song? That's a good song. I love that song. We played it during Christmas. I guess. That's weird. <laughs> okay. Okay. So this is what I am recommending. No. Okay. So oh, I look. Okay. Fine. So I finished this series a while ago. I think it, I think Earthquake. I talked about it in the second episode. Sorry. I talked about it in the second episode. Um. And I was really hungover from the series. Yeah, she was. I was like, and she wanted to spread that hangover. I do. I, so I got if, one of. I got Alicia. So I got our other friend reading it. Hangovers aren't contagious. Is a liar. Are you hungover? I'm so hungover from the first one. I'm so mad at That's it. That's why right you gotta now. keep reading. It's a little bit of the hair, the dog, that bitch. But some more of it. We're going on a bender. <laughs> We're going on a Raven Boy bender. Anyway, so I picked up this book thinking like, okay, this will help clear my head. No, I, t- I didn't say, I did not suggest doing that. I read that when I was a kid. No, I didn't though. But I picked this up thinking like, okay, it'll get me off my bender and help me sober up and like get back to like. Reading your Jane Eyre, which you're supposed to be reading. Normal. It'll help me get back to normal. No. Made it worse. No. Now I'm seeing all these things that I hadn't seen in this and I'm now seeing, I'm just like. The connections are endless. And I'm like, <sighs> and then I discovered yesterday, two days ago. No, no, it was Friday. No, it was two days ago. It's Sunday now. Two days ago. <laughs> that they made this into a BBC miniseries. And it's on DVD. Why do you do that to me, BBC? Why? I'm going to buy it. I'm going to watch it. And then I'm going to review it here, too. Anyway, this is a fantastic novel. It's uh, her first one. It's her Susanna Clark. first one. I don't know if she's written anything else. There's nothing else to say. It's great. I read, this it, is I read it in high school. This is fantastic. Because my teacher was like, you'll like this if you like them Odysseys. It's a schlog, though. I read it in high school. Like, you better, like, figuratively put your boots on. She didn't even make me conference with her over it. She there's no, there's no way you can. There's I was no. like, there's so much, and I have so many things. She's like... I already know. We're not gonna. There's like no way. <clears throat> like, it's so complete. It is. There's no loose ends. If there's, uh And it kind of makes you sad that there's nothing loose there. Because we're so, like, I feel like with a lot of U.S. authors. There's always something missing. There is. This is a very complete series, apparently. I don't know yet. I'll get you. I'll get back to it. I'll get back there. But we'll find again, out. it's a series. We'll find out. But anyway, this is just like... Oh. Now she's hungover. No. I'm, my head is so clear now. But, like, I need more. She just wants to learn about ravens now. Now I'm just... Oh, the mythology yeah, I do, of ravens. I do have... Okay, I know what I'm going to read next. Oh, that's good. Because I know you were a little hungover about that. Yeah, but I but no. for some reason like I some kind I have like so many books that will follow into this. But yeah, yeah, this also has ravens and it's uh, I'm not even describing it well. Magic, yeah, and like historical magic and that kind of deal. It's really interesting. It's, it's very set intricate. In Eighteen in the eighteen hundreds. I would suggest having it read to you. Yes. This is hard to, but I'm a good like slog reader. Yeah, like you need. A I lead. don't mind textbooks. <laughs> I mean, you're gonna need like two trentas of tea. No, you're gonna need more than that. And you're gonna need a lot of trentas, some highlighters, a lot of sticky notes, a notebook. I suggest have it reading it twice. So first time have it read to you, the second time read it yourself with all your post-its. It's incredible. That's how we do life. Like the characterizations, and you hate. I promise that wasn't me. That was a dog. It goes, it goes streaming. It's <laughs> anyway, I love it when he drinks. <laughs> I can't. Anyway. But yeah, it's magical. It's a, that's it's all. Like, it's like Jane Austen meets Harry Potter meets 
Raven Boys meets life. <sighs> meets life is hard. What's another know? one? The Historian was a good one too. I haven't read that. We can't talk about that. Oh. I haven't read it. Okay. But yes. Fantastic. I'm mad at this. And I'm also mad at this one, but I read it. What is it with our bird theme right now? Oh, you're right. There's a bird on there. <laughs> I was like, what bird okay, are you? I guess our theme this week is for the birds. Life is for the birds. I love it. Read all of these things. Let me know. This is the, that one. The Final Solution is the shortest one. This it one. Is. This one's a series. This one is a if single. It doesn't, you could probably get away with watching the BBC. If you really need to. It's on Amazon. You can stream it on Amazon if you're a Prime member. This is her first novel. Yeah, it was. Anyway, let's <laughs> Please don't hurt my book. Sorry, it's a dust cover. We got it from Half Price Books the other day. Ooh! We're part let's just talk about kind of some of the events happening. We're part of a swap. We're doing a book swap. We're gonna be really quick on this though, because we're at an hour right now. Yeah, I know we don't go over that. Um, but we are we joined into um, Tom Tom time knitting and reading. She's having a book swap. Uh, we got in there like two days before it. The, and then, the then we're all like, like she's doing a book swap. Like, oh, <laughs> sign up, sign up. So we got paired, and we, we are paired with the lovely ladies over at the Toad, toad Hollow. Toad Hollow podcast. Crafty Toad. Crafty Toad. The Toad Hollow podcast. The Toad Hollow podcast. So we are so excited. We are so excited. We got both of them. <laughs> so it was kind of funny. Uh, so yeah. So, so I picked. We picked up their books. The other books. I'm about. I, we're gonna wind their mini skeins, and we're gonna do candy. And um, I'm trying to figure out what else I'm gonna throw in there. I'm gonna throw in some other stuff. Cause we're fun. Cause Oh, and so yeah, we're doing that. And then also we have a group on. Oh, yeah. Ravelry we now. We have a group on Ravelry. We don't have a banner yet, but I'm thinking... I've tried to put one up, but um, I need to rework it. So there's yeah. a working banner right now. Sorry. So, yeah, if you want to join that... Go ahead. We'll do that, and then if we do a listen along, we'll fit, we'll talk with Julie and see if she wants to... What she wants to do for the listen along, and then we'll talk and see if we want to make it a group thing, if people want to join in on that. And, of course, if you don't want to listen, if you don't want to... You can still, like... You can read. I believe in you and all your reading dreams. Yeah. I need I to really, take, have I, this taken away from me. I know. I feel like in January we should do the Raven Boy cycle again. Why January? Well, because that's the beginning of the year. I felt like we should do the Hobbit. In January? Um, no, in the fall. Like September, November. Can Did I you want to do the Lord of the Rings? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. But anyway, so I that's why. everything. Ask me something. Don't. Please. Anyway, so we're going to start putting up show notes in there, um, maybe starting from this episode. I know um, we said we were going to do it. We haven't done it. We haven't done it. I have a blog. I need to work on that. Yeah, we do have a blog. I'm but still we trying are... to pick out the themes and the colors. She, it's hard. Life is very hard. <laughs> anyway. Um, <laughs> she's very ashamed. Put that down. I told you. Take it away this from me. Now, isn't it? You just want to wave it around at people. Anyway, anyway. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. If you that's do have it. any questions, um, we'll make a thread and you can ask us stuff. Yeah. Oh, like, that'd be fun. And yeah. we'll try and do like one or two every week. Yeah. As this kind of ending credit thing. I'm sorry. That's our credits. No! <laughs> well, everything just runs by. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how to do that. Sorry. Me neither. It was like, okay. this was produced by, this was filmed by, actors are. Plus Ugo. I mean, anyway. so yeah, that's basically it. Yeah, do you have anything else you want to say? Any closing remarks? Thanks. Thanks Bruce. for hanging out with us. Yeah. I mean, if you weren't here with us, we'd just be talking to ourselves. Thanks for not making it awkward. See you next time. All right. Bye. Bye.